wherever he went. St startling it was what it was. And once again, we're putting two and two together here and thinking about war games, thinking about the WCW team on the 13th of uh, 13th of September. Warrior teaming with DDP to be a part of w Team WCW? Against the two NWO factions, first time ever that the War Games event is going to have three separate teams. With one man left standing, and that one man will go on to face Goldberg for the world title the following month at Halloween Havoc in Las Vegas. Well, here we go. This is a return bout from WCW Saturday Night with Kurt Hennig of NWO. Hollywood and Dean Malenko, and as Kurt Hennig goes out and stalls, we're going to take our next commercial break and have the match in its entirety right after this timeout. Stay with us. Hennig still on the outside, and, and well, we're back live, and Dean Malenko's had enough. You know, we, we've talked a lot about fall brawl about war games. Remember, it was almost a year ago when Hennig and his big charade dismantled the horsemen as all part of what happened at, at war games. Just more proof that Kurt Hennig and Rick Root are absolute mercenaries. At that point in time, they were members of the four horsemen. From there, they went, went to the NWO Wolfpack, now part of NWO Hollywood, the black and white. Oof. Malenko wanted to get in there, and Hennig's going to oblige here. He's taking the men apart on the outside. Well, fans, take a breath here. I know you're stunned, you're shocked. None as much as Hollywood Hogan. And I wonder, I just wonder what the talk is in the MWO Hollywood locker room area right now. If there's any talk at all. They may all be sitting around the circle looking down at the floor. Either that or they're trying to talk Hogan down off the roof. Well, I'm sure they're momentarily stunned, but you know the NWO black and white. Oh. Not going to take long for them to get a game plan. Cover by Malenko, two, only two. What could have been going on in Hogan's mind when he saw the Warrior appear? That had to be the biggest shock in that man's life. And then thinking about next week here on Nitro, when the Warrior promises that he's going to launch a revolution. It'll be no average revolution, I'll guarantee you that. A revolution would be mild compared to what that man is capable of doing. You know, if, and, and I tell you, my apologies to Malenko and to Kurt Hennig, and we need to do justice to this match. These are two of the top caliber athletes in WCW, but it's really hard to, to even focus and concentrate on anything else that's gone down here. And this place is a buzz. Everyone's talking to each other. Jam-packed here in Hartford, and they're talking about the man, the warrior. Of course, Warrior promised that he was going to unleash the absolute power as we see Rick Rude interfere from outside the ring. This is a return bout from Saturday night, as you mentioned, Tony, when Dean Malenko had that Texas Cloverleaf applied on Kurt Hennig before Rick Rude interfered. Oh! Spinning the force of all of that on the neck of Dean Malenko. This has been this has been a night for the ages. This has been a night to remember. This is what this has been. Back body drop up here in Connecticut. We've we've seen uh, we've seen things that have been literally unbelievable. And we all have talked about the excitement of fall brawl as we're heading to war games. Nothing like it's been turned up right now, fans. But, Oh. Hi. <laughs> Tony, and we still have Bret Hart against Diamond Dallas Page for the U.S. title, as well as the Giant and Goldberg for the world's heavyweight title yet to come tonight. And what did Hogan say? Hogan said that they were going to have plenty of backup yeah. in terms of the Giant. They were going to cover his back. But that's before Hogan saw the Warrior. Now what's oh. going through their minds in there? They may lock themselves in the locker room, in their own locker room, oh. let the Giant come out against Goldberg by himself. Regardless of what happens, it's going to be it's going to be very interesting to see the reaction of NWO Hollywood and what happens with Goldberg and the Giant. Here's a cover one, two for the world title later on. One thing, though, of all the weird things and unpredictable events that have occurred tonight, one thing you can be sure of: foot to the face here by Hennig, and Hennig rocks the back of the neck. One thing you can be sure of: watch, oh, midsection. 
It's going to get hit here. Yes. As that our main event is live, it will go longer than the 10 second main event up, you would see if you watch their tape program later here tonight. Belly to back. Malenko's going to go for it again here. The man gonna, from Minnesota's going to Texas. Putting on that Texas Clover, leaving a smart move by Henning to get to the ropes. And look at that. Rick Rude back up on the ring apron. Boy, Rude's a master. He knows exactly what to do and when to do it. First blow down. Oh, my goodness, on the neck to Rude. Double axe handle. Staggered Malenko as Hennick checks with his longtime close friend Rude. Oh, oh Rude got the knee. Did you notice how Kurt signaled Rude? Eye contact. Yeah, and they're working as a team. They've worked as a team their whole lives. And Rick Rude oh. from the apron. He's got him. It took two men. It took NWO Hollywood. It took the team. It took the unit. In the face of the incredible appearance by the Warrior to rebound and defeat Dean Malenko. Still to come tonight live. Goldberg defends against the Giant all on TNT.